My name is Stacy Kane. I'm co-founder and executive director here. The best part of starting a school is the students. I mean, engaging with young people every single day who have so much potential is the greatest privilege that you could possibly have. We wanted to make sure that the school that we started would not only get students into school, but actually really, truly prepare them. We laid out three questions that we thought were really essential to a high school. The first being, what are we required to teach? The second being, what does a school have to uh, offer its students so that they can get into and then actually succeed in college? But the third, and what we thought was actually most important, was what do our kids need to learn to thrive in life after high school? Demographics-wise, our student body is 99% students of color. It's 85% students are eligible for free and reduced price lunch, um, and about 20% special education students. These are really standard demographics for the DC, urban DC area. The culture at WLA is a mixture of intense academics and intense work with intense love and intense positive messaging to kids that says, you can do this. Um, we care about you. Our team's vision of a graduate from our school is a kid that can leave WLA and go do anything they choose, whatever that choice may be, whether that's further study, whether that's a career, whether that's exploring technical education, whether that's matriculating into whatever jobs are available, whether that's going to a four-year university and then matriculating or taking another four years for graduate school. Like, there are so many options out there, and I think our goal is to prepare kids to choose any one of those things and be successful getting to it and then getting through it. So I think we're in a very unique phase in our growth because we're still building out our school culture and our school vision, our school values, how we want to revolutionize not only education but redesign high school because that's what we're ultimately trying to do is redesign the high school experience for our students. There's so many people that will tell you that high school meant nothing to them other than just getting them to college. Um, and so part of the questions we ask is how do we make high school more meaningful? I think the baseline uh, of what students will leave WLA with is an understanding that they can um, be who they desire to be. And I think any student who graduates from WLA will leave with an understanding that they have the power to not only be of the world but to change it um, and to critique it. And so I think we're equipping them with the tools to um, not only navigate the system but disrupt the system. We see WLA students walking out of the building when they graduate with a deep understanding of how they see the world and how they can lead social change, but at the same time having skills that give them access to economic force and the voice of the future, which is a full set of technology skills, computer you know, programming, coding. We are a school committed to using cutting edge technology to improve education. Nobody could have imagined the uh, way technology would move. and. I think the best way to describe it is that we want our students to be producers of these systems that everybody uses, not just consumers. And the possibilities for what technology can do to help kids learn and to help teachers teach is just massive. The way we talked about tech originally for teacher use was that it could help us leverage teachers, like use technology to take a great teacher and make them exceptional because they can differentiate across every single student's needs and abilities and skill gaps. WLA is different in the sense that we offer computer science um, to all kids, all four years. Um, so that's, that's very different. Um, usually it's an elective, right? And when you require all students to take it, the athletes take it, the girls take it, the cool kids take it. Like, there's no question about should I or shouldn't I. It's just like, well, this is just the norm. Uh, this is what's expected of me. Um, so that's really cool to see kids bring their experiences and their personalities uh, to a field that is absent of people who look like them or think like them. Are 100% of students of kids going to pass right now? No, like, and that's like me being super transparent, vulnerable, and honest. It's not, but the verdict is still out as whether I regret that decision, right? Like, even if a student doesn't pass, was it still worth the ride? Was it still worth the journey to sit in the class and talk about these high-level concepts? We didn't just want kids to use it in class, we wanted them to actually be able to create it so that they were active owners of the technology and creators of it. 
We also hypothesized that if we gave them a skill, then they'd be able to make money before college, during college, after college, in lieu of college. It's like an immediate white collar skill that you can teach in high school where they will leapfrog their peers who, who are even college graduates by the time they graduate high school. If we're really, really serious about access um, to cutting edge education, um, we need to be brave and bold and, and do the things that like other people aren't willing to do. So our vision for our graduates has expanded. Our original vision was success in college and lives of public leadership. And we still definitely want all of our students to have that, but we've had to have really hard conversations and um, lots of thought around what we want graduates to be prepared with in terms of success in college. I think the way we're thinking about it is we want them all to be prepared for success in college, but whether that's immediately after high school or whether some students will have a gap or whether some students will have an extra year or whether some students will go to Uber and get paid more money than they would get paid if they had a college degree at this point immediately out of high school, do we consider that um, unsuccessful? So I think we have to be a lot more creative about what our definition of a successful graduate looks like. What I would hope for my students is that they have the skills to be successful in whatever endeavor they go into. And then if you don't go to college, it's because you chose not to go, not because you couldn't go, right? And that, that you have something else that you're, you're pursuing and a passion that you're living, um, whether it be art or a business or something, but it's, it's, it was your choice. It's definitely a lot of trial and error. So we design, we test, we iterate. <laughs> it's a recursive process. Um, and so, you know, sometimes I'm, I struggle with that because, you know, you're dealing with human beings. And so they're, they're not objects to be tested with. Um, but I think, you know, in three or four years, when we actually have our first couple graduating classes, we can look back and we can make, we, we can reflect and we can see what went well and things we need to improve on. I have 204 visions of what graduates of uh, Washington Leadership Academy will be, and one day it'll be 400 visions. I think common themes among who our students will become is that they will feel empowered to share their voices. They will be proficient in technological skills. They're going to be good people. They're going to have a sense of integrity, and they're going to carry themselves with a sense of honesty, and they're going to believe in themselves and their awesome potential.